Peggy 16. Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 is a sprawling action-adventure game from Konami with a deep strategic combat system where you play the role of Dracula, the Prince of Darkness. During the game, you must reacquire your powers of old by exploring a vast world and discovering the secrets that lie within. You will need to master the challenges that lie before you, and the Void Sword is one such weapon that will help you achieve your goals. The Void Sword allows you to deal combat damage and yet steal life from your enemies, thus giving you a tactical advantage in combat. Your Void Magic container is shown on the bottom left of your screen, and when activated, glows blue. The Void Sword is a weapon that requires you to get up close and personal with your enemies. However, it uses precious magic each time you strike an enemy. When you run out, you will need to fill up your magic container once again in order to use it. The focus bar, shown here, indicates your current focused state. As you deal damage to your enemy, the runes on the focus bar light up. However, be careful, as getting hit breaks your focus. Once you become focused, the focus bar lights up and your enemy will drop blood with each successive hit you make. Now you can absorb the blood into your void magic container to fill it. With your Void Sword summoned, you can keep your own health bar topped up whilst dealing damage to your enemy. By playing with skill, you can maintain your focused state and keep your Void Magic fully replenished. This Stone Golem is a formidable mid-level boss, but by using a combination of Dracula's Shadow Whip to gain focus and switching to Void Sword where necessary, you can take him down with ease. Dracula is very nimble, and you can use his powerful dodge ability to keep the enemy on his toes. Switching weapons mid-combo is also possible and advisable to keep the momentum in Dracula's favor. The Stone Golem still has a few tricks up his sleeve and can freeze Dracula where he stands. Another skill that you need to master is the Sync Block. This powerful skill, if timed correctly, will allow Dracula a devastating counter-attack and the opportunity to again build focus quickly. Using Dracula's abilities in this way will allow players to feel very powerful and deal with any foe rapidly and with deadly efficiency. But skill is required or failure will quickly ensue. Many enemies in the game, once defeated, will grant new abilities or powers to Dracula. This gem, for example, can be used with Dracula's void abilities in new and interesting ways. You may recall the stone golem could freeze its enemies, and this power now belongs to you. Freezing areas of the environment can open up a whole new section to explore that wasn't possible before so it's worth hunting down these items and revisiting old areas previously explored. Stop! My lord, my, my prince. No. 
The blood of the castle is rebelling against its lord and master, and the monsters within now fight against you. This boy is under my protection. You're not our lord anymore. It's up to you to protect the boy from these creatures. your enemies as the stone golem once did to you. This is very useful when confronted with multiple enemies at once. This gives Dracula time to focus on one enemy at a time. The Shadow Whip is a great long-range weapon which can deal direct damage to a single enemy. Using the Shadow Whip to build focus in combination with dodge and sink blocks allows Dracula to better control tense combat situations. Keeping your void magic replenished allows you to dominate your enemies at all times with little risk to yourself. The combat in Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2, is fast-paced, yet requires thought and careful strategy to master. Button mashing will get you nowhere. By exploring the world of Castlevania, you will find many secrets and hidden items that will allow you to develop Dracula's fighting prowess further, making him the ultimate vampire lord. Discover the secrets for yourself in Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2.